God is good all the time. Because of his great love, we are not consumed. Jesus said, my peace, my peace I give to you. My peace I leave with you. It's not as the world gives. Friends, the world can't give this peace, can it? Can the world give you any peace? It's never given me any peace. Can our politicians give us peace? No, friends, our politicians can't give us peace. They're, they're taking us deeper into war, aren't they? They go on about saving lives. Saving lives. Well, they, they can't save lives, can they? They're not interested, friends. They're, they're escalating tensions between Ukraine and Russia. Where's that going to lead? Maybe a nuclear war. I don't know. But you know the Bible actually prophesies? The Bible actually prophesies that our world will be destroyed by fire. Maybe it's coming. Maybe it's coming, friends. The Bible has many very interesting prophecies. Did you know the Bible is a prophetic book? A lot of people get excited about people like Nostradamus. But really, his words were very vague. They were very vague. But if you look at the Bible and the prophecies, they are very direct. They are very direct. Did you know that the Bible actually prophesies that there would be a cashless society? There would be a one-world government? Did you know? There would be a one-world government and there would be a cashless society. That's what the mark of the beast is. You've probably heard of the mark of the beast. Well, have you seen, have you seen the QR codes that are dotted around everywhere? They became very, um, very common during the the so-called so pandemic. pandemic. Have you noticed how, how, how the QR code is everywhere? Well, friends, something, something like that is going to be used in the future. In the near future, they want us to go cashless. They're talking about this. They're talking about this very thing. Our politicians are talking about the system. In fact, they say the system is all set up. The infrastructure for the cashless society is all here. I mean, let's face it, friends, we hardly have cash in our pockets today, do we? I don't know about you, but I've got my card in my pocket, and I just use my card most of the time. I hardly ever have cash. Friends, this is prophesied in the Bible, the cashless society, and it's almost upon us. And the Apostle John said that anyone who has the mark, anyone who has the mark cannot enter the kingdom of God. Why would that be? Friends, because it's about whether we're going to bow to government or whether we're going to bow to God. Who are we going to put our trust in? Are we going to put our trust in God? Or are we going to put our trust in the system of this world? Because there's coming a day, friends, where they will actually stop people from buying and selling unless they have a mark. Possibly it will be the QR code. I don't know exactly. It might even be a chip. Have you seen the company, a chip implant in the, in the hand? Have you seen the company, Walletmore, that started up last year, the company? And they're basically selling the chip. I think it's about £300. You can order it online. And you can have that chip implanted. And you can just go into the shop. You can swipe your hand. Just like the prophecy of, the, of John, the apostle. That, 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 that there will be a mark in the hand or in the forehead. And this is what they're talking about. This is what the, the global elite are talking about. In Davos, they discuss these things. In Switzerland, in the World Economic Forum, they're talking about chips in the head. And you've probably heard of Elon Musk. Elon Musk, the, the, the owner of Twitter and, and Tesla, he's actually creating what they call the Neuralink. The Neuralink, which will be an implant in the head. And at the moment, they're saying it's being developed for people with all kinds of disabilities. And maybe that would be amazing if people could be able to see again through, these, through this implant. But they want to go a step further and they want everyone, everyone on the planet to have an implant. Basically, the, the smartphone will go inside, will go inside us. This is what is called augmented reality.